Welcome to my basement. <laughs> Welcome to your yoga class. So let's get started. If anything I offer here today does not work in your body, just don't do it. This is your practice, your time. So take a seat, grab a blanket or a cushion if you would like to put underneath your hips and get your spine long. If it doesn't work to sit cross-legged, don't do it. Sit however works for you. Your time, your practice. I'm not the boss of you. We'll just take a couple of breaths right here, landing on the yoga mat, coming present, preparing for our practice. Focusing on the breath. Noticing what it feels like to be in your body today. Take one more deep breath in through the nose and open the mouth, sigh it out. Bringing the hands to heart center. If you would like to set an intention for today's practice, maybe something you're grateful for, maybe something you'd like to cultivate more of in your life, you can do that now. Release the hands and on the next inhale, arms go up overhead. Exhale, drop the hands through heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down through heart center. One more time, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Right hand comes down onto the mat. Left arm reaches up and over, getting a side bend. And switch, coming over to the left. Drawing the elbow behind you, opening up the chest. And back over towards the right. And back through center, over left. back through center and the left hand comes to the right knee other arm comes behind you reach up with the crown of the head and twist towards the back of the room make sure you're breathing next exhale release that twist the other way get long in the spine and then twist a little further Next exhale releases that, hands come to knees, exhale, curl the spine, drop the head. Inhale, gaze comes up, pull the chest forward. Exhale, drop the head. Inhale, pull the chest forward, get a back bend. Getting movement in the spine, drop the head. And take that back bend, push the chest forward. Beautiful. Come off whatever you've been sitting on and come over onto hands and knees. Put that blanket under your knees if you have any knee sensitivity. And if you have blocks, you can use them here. They're totally not necessary. Bring that right foot forward between the hands and make sure that the ankle is right under the knee. You don't want the knee beyond the ankle. It's too hard on the joint. Lift through that chest. Gaze goes forward, shift the hips forward, breathing into that stretch. On the exhale, straighten the right leg, bow over. Toes come up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bend the knee, lift through the chest. And exhale, straighten that right leg, toes come up, bow over. Bend that right knee, shifting hips forward. Options here, you can stay on the blocks or on the mat. You can bring the hands onto the knee and pull the shoulders back. Or you can lift the arms straight up. 
you're feeling good here, you can tuck the back toes and straighten that back leg. Find what works for you. I'm not giving up gold stars. It doesn't matter where you go to in the postures. Listening to the body. Releasing that, dropping the knee down. Hands come to the mat. Right knee comes back. Breathe here. Left foot comes forward, making sure again that ankle is directly under the knee. Shift the hips forward, lifting through the chest, and breathe. You might feel this in the right hip flexor, and extend that left leg, bowing down over the knee, and shift it forward. Moving back and forth. Warming up the hamstrings. You can stay here or walk the hands up to the knee, lifting through the chest, pulling shoulders back. Stay there or reach arms up. Option to tuck the back toes and straighten that right leg. Breathing here, continuing to lift through the chest. Reach up. And arms come down, lowering that back knee, hands on either side of the left foot. Take that left foot back. Find your tabletop position. So spread fingers wide, index fingers straight forward, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck the toes under and find your downward facing dog. Walk your dog out, so bend and straighten the knees. Moving the hips around and then find that stillness. A bend in the knees is totally fine here. No tension in the neck, slight bend in the elbows and breathe. Next exhale, come up on the toes, bend the knees, walk the feet forward to the hands. Feet are hip width distance or further apart if you have any back issues. And take your rag doll, your forward fold. You can sway the upper body. You can interlace the hands into opposite elbows if you'd like. Shake the head yes or no. Release all tension from the neck. And focus on the breathing. Nice bend in the knees here, lower ribs touching the thighs. And next time you inhale, slowly keep that bend in the knees and roll all the way up to standing. Roll the shoulders down and back and step to the top of your mat. Palms face forward, weight evenly in the feet. Breathe. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, get tall. Exhale, fold, hands through heart center. Inhale, come to a half lift, the hands are on the legs. And fold, hands to the mat, step back to a high plank, either on your toes or on your knees. Engage through the core and lower all the way down to the mat, elbows in. Peel the upper body up, back bend, and release that. Pushing back through table, tucking your toes, downward facing dog. Check in with your breath. Next inhale, bend your knees, walk your feet up to your hands. Half lift and fold. Ground down and reach all the way up. Gaze goes up. Take a little back bend here. Make sure you keep breathing. Don't go back so far you can't breathe. Hips go forward, thumbs back and fold all the way down. Half lift, flat back, long neck and fold. Step back to your plank, toes or knees. 
Next exhale, lower down to the mat chaturanga, if that's in your practice. Pull through to your up dog or your baby cobra, coming into a back bend, and then through table or directly to your downward facing dog. And if you don't know what chaturanga is, don't worry about it. You don't need to. It's just yoga. Bend the knees, walk the feet forward. Half lift, flat back and fold. Reach all the way up. Let's go through this one more time. This time coming up onto the toes, a little bit of a balance challenge. Fix your gaze, your drishti. One more breath here. And exhale, fold, heels come down, fold all the way down. Half lift. And plant those hands, step back, high plank on toes or knees. Engage through that core, lower all the way down. Pull through to your baby cobra back bend. Release down and push back through table or directly to your downward facing dog. Letting the heels melt down towards the mat, they never need to touch. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, walk it forward. Come to your half lift and fold. Ground down, reach up, get tall, gaze goes up, and let the hands come down through heart center. Maybe putting a hand on the heart, hand on the belly, and just breathe here. Notice your heart rate, your breathing rate. Notice your body, observation, without judgment. Reach all the way up on the inhale and fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back. This time we'll come directly to downward facing dog. And then drop those knees. Knees can be together or wide. Sit the hips back. Find your child's pose. Arm can reach out ahead of you, or if that's not comfortable on the shoulders, they can go alongside your body. We'll just take a few breaths here. Slowly walking the upper body back up, shifting your hips to the side. Let the legs come out in front of you. Scoot to the center of your mat, feet flat on the mat, arms out in front of you. Pull the chest forward, flat back, engage through the core, and as slowly as you can, lower all the way down to the mat. Beautiful. We'll do a figure four stretch. So right ankle comes on top of left knee. You can grab behind the left hamstring if you would like. A little bit more intensity in the stretch. If not, you don't have to pull. Breathing here, feeling wherever you feel the stretch, the intensity. It's okay. Just breathe through it. Next exhale, switch legs, left ankle onto right knee. Give it a pull if you'd like. And next exhale. Release that and give both knees a hug into the chest. You can roll around on the spine a little bit. Make little circles with the knees. 
And then when you're ready, drop both knees over to the right side. Arms can come out like a T. You can cactus them up to get into the shoulders a little bit more. And then bring the gaze over to the left side to get a full twist through the entire spine. Next exhale, knees come back. Give them a hug in the center and take them over to the left. Arms like a T, cactus them out, gaze goes right, and breathe. Ringing out anything you don't need here. And release that, coming back through center. Give those knees one more hug into the chest. And then do whatever you need. That might be happy baby. You can bring the feet up towards the ceiling, grab the inside or the outsides of the feet. And then just bend and straighten, rolling around on the spine. Whatever you need to do to feel complete, to feel like you can settle into your Shavasana. When you're ready, take that Shavasana. You can do this on your back, on your side. You can prop up with pillows under the knees if that feels good. Get as comfortable as possible and continue to bring the thoughts back to the breath the present moment. This is what you worked for, this moment of release. Make sure you're not holding any residual tension. And let the mat fully support you. Starting to deepen the breath a little bit. Maybe wiggling the toes, the fingers. Maybe bringing the knees in, reaching overhead. And when you're ready, rolling over onto your right side. Take a couple breaths here, using your arm as a pillow. And when you're ready, coming back to seated, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze lowered, long spine, chin slightly tucked. Maybe taking a moment to acknowledge how you feel, how your body feels, how your mind feels in this moment. Maybe bringing your hands to heart center. Maybe coming back to the intention that you set for today's practice. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. Come back tomorrow. I'll see you then.